Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Plays Elden Ring. We are here in Rhea Lucaria, and we actually just found the next big boss. And, um, it doesn't seem like it's going to be too difficult. I don't know, I could be very, very wrong, but, uh, if that is all it is, and there's no second phase, I think we could do it rather quickly. Uh, real quick, here are the stats. We are up to level 36. Uh, spells probably not going to be super effective in this fight. We may use them, we may not. But let's go ahead and we got to rush because uh, it's a bit of a run. It's a bit of a run. It's not too bad. And I wish there was a shorter way and I wish there was another Site of Grace or a Stake America, but... You know, I'm probably just missing one, and I've probably, you know, skipped out on 70% of this dungeon. For now, that's okay, because I, like I said, I feel like we can make this fight happen. I don't know if we'll get it on this attempt, but we just have to find the little ones, the little crawling, maybe remnants. I'm not sure if that's what they're called, based on that note from the vendor, it could be. We gotta find those, kill them, and then just go ahead and go after, uh, the boss. Hmm. Maybe I should take that one portal and see if there's a Sight of Grace there. Or it's just gonna, you know, teleport me somewhere else entirely. Okay. I'll be sure to send this down just in case we do need another attempt, which eh, we probably will. There we have it. Okay. Uh, do we want... I don't actually know what we want. We just kind of want something more tanky than the wolves. Don't want jellyfish. Maybe just the wandering. I mean, this seems crazy, but just the fact that there's five of them. Maybe that'll keep them occupied. I'm not sure. All right, let's try it. All right. Go get them. <laughs> so I'm going to run around the outskirts first. Looking for whoever is shielding. And then we'll pass through the middle. I don't know if they trade off. One's already dead. <laughs> Although, did, did they maybe crack her shield already a little bit? Oh, there's none on the outside. They must trade off. They must. All right. Okay. Got one. Yeah, see, that's the thing. I think they do. I think they totally trade off. Is she falling already? I think she's about to fall. She she is. Okay. There's a nice bleed. Get out of there. Get out, get out. Oh, that's big. Okay, but that's all right. I mean, look at that damage. Time to... No, you're going to do something else horrible. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Now you're flying. Or now the other ones are flying, aren't they? And I don't know what that means for me. Okay, got to go just after the shield. And you don't actually have to kill the ones with shields. Just hit them. But... What... Oh, no, 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 what? Holy moly. So those things that were flying are a little dangerous. All right. Doable. So there is another phase, but it looks like that's probably it, though. Yeah? Okay. Let's go again. Let's go again. You know, actually, those wandering nobles were bad because they were running around and actually smashing the right ones. So what we need to do is not get hit by that blast. I, I'm just curious if I can maybe get two, two bleed procs in one. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Anyone see what happened to the, the floor there? Take, uh, take three. There's got to be something to activate before, though, right? This just seems so far. 
This is the furthest run back I've had uh, by far. Uh, you know, I wish I was paying attention. So, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh boy. Okay, to see, because I'm sure if you just know, you know, when to go left, when to go right, you're gonna be fine. Well, at least I sent the elevator back down. Now I wonder that projectile that she just shot that was massively, massively devastating. If I just go behind a pillar, am I safe? Are there even pillars, or am I misremembering there were just stacks of books? Because I don't think stacks of books are gonna <laughs> are gonna help with that. Who knew the wandering nobles are uh, actually gonna prove to be beneficial here? Okay. Let's just start rushing in there. Okay. Got that one. There's another. Come on. And that's it. I think that's it. She's already going to fall down. Okay. All right, not bad. We just need to start immediately going after the shields again. You're not a shielded. No, 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 no. Okay, time to get out of dodge because I don't know when that thing is gonna happen. It might, I thought it was timed. It might not be timed. It might actually just be line of sight. Uh-oh. Okay, but I'm alive, but I'm alive. So now we need to find another shield. All right, I see it, I see it. That might actually be the last one. I think it is, okay. She's fallen, yep, okay. Come on. Almost had her. Almost had her. Look for the shields right away. Okay, there's the shield back here. I'm almost thinking just running is the way to avoid that. Run, 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 run. Sounds like it's coming. Yes, 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 yes. Great. All right. Let's just find another shield. Where are you? Aha. Is that it? Are you falling? She's falling. Okay. Let's just finish this. There we go. All right. Renala, queen of the full moon. Oh, no, 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 no. No, this is when you just say enemy felled. Ah, oh, my beloved. Have no fear. I will hold thee. Ye will be countless born, forever and ever. Upon my name is Rani the Witch. Mother's rich slumber shall not be disturbed by thee. Foul trespasser. Send word far and wide. Of the last queen of Caria, 
Granala of the full moon. Whoa. And the majesty of the night she conjureth. This is such cool in a Oh dear. Okay, at least we can outrun that. That's good. Go get her, guys. Is that just gonna be a massive explosion or what? No. Yes. <laughs> and she does the spinning one, that's funny. Gemini. How do I get close to her? How do I how do I stay and get close to her? Whoa, whoa, what, what was that? I mean, I absolutely love the fact that it changed arenas, really. Uh, but I'm thinking, I'm thinking I have to find another closer spot. All right. Since I don't think I had any more, I don't think I had any runes in there anyway. I'm not worried about going to get them. I think we need to do some more exploring, if only to try and get a, a closer site of grace or a stake or something, because this just seems very long, very long indeed. All right, so let's do this. Let's hop. I want to go and take that one portal, see where that brings us. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do this. Naha! Yes. There we go. Easy. Easy life. Now, where are you going to bring me? Somewhere good, I hope. Probably know where I want to go. Hopefully not just to the gates again. What? Why? Okay. Well, there's a site of grace. I mean, that's good, but it's obviously... Wait, where's the site of grace? I just saw the particles. Didn't I? Church of Vows. Oh, sweet prince. Oh, sweet angel. Oh, my gosh. Best portal ever. You're tarnished. Aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I wonder if I could find like a text or listen to an NPC that would have told me, but obviously, I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radican and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses, the Earth Tree of the Capitol and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction, in which case I will share all that I know. Wow, okay. Study sorcery, study incantations, also uh, celestial dew. So this is for the absolution. Uh, what do you have for sorceries? Magic glint blade, creates sigil that forms a projectile glint blade after delay, and 10,000 carrying greatsword. I have carrying greatsword. No, I have the carrying greatsword, ash of war. Okay. How about incantations? Blessings boon. Grants blessing to self and nearby allies. Hey, gradually restoring HP. Love it. Love healing for co-op. 
Uh, but let's show him the dew. Do you possess any celestial dew? Then I would like to share my knowledge with you concerning the miracle of this Church of Vows. Radigan once cleansed himself with celestial dew, repented his territorial aggressions, and swore his love to Renala. The order of the Erdry and the fate of the moon were conjoined, and all the wounds of war forgiven. This miracle blesses the church to this day, and so you need only follow Radigan's example to restore any bond however strained or severed, to its rightful state of harmony. That's really cool. About the miracle. Oh, where'd my, uh, where'd my instruction on Radagon go? To experience the miracle, kneel in the basin at the back and cleanse yourself with celestial dew. Absolution will be yours. Any bond no matter how strained or even severed, will be put to rights. My faith does not waver. The miracle rooted in these grounds will once again mend the world. And this time, its bounty will not be squandered. If you would be Elden Lord, tarnished, I hope that you too will share my faith. You wish to know more of Lord Radigan. Lord Radigan was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of Second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Ooh. I like that. A little bit of intrigue. So Radigan was married to Renala, left Renala to go become Queen Merica's second husband and became Elden Lord, but no one knows why. Why did he leave Renala and why was he chosen as Elden Lord when he wasn't anything special? He was just a warrior. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family and governor of the Academy of Rhea Lucaria the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Love it. Love him. All right, Atone, you don't need absolution. I figured I didn't, but just wanted to check. Gold sewing needle. Golden tailoring tools. Hmm. Okay. So for more intricate alterations. Sewing special special sewing needle for demigod attire. One of the tools brought by Radigan when he entered into marriage with Renala and joined the Carrion line. With these, even demigod attire can be altered at a sight of grace. Well, that's pretty cool. Excellent. All right. Looks like there is a Sight of Grace just, just outside. There we go. Definitely missed this before. Hmm. Okay. So, now what? <laughs> now what? Do we want to go back? Or do we want to go see what's up? No, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go at least explore some more. So we're we're gonna go to the schoolhouse classroom. That's where he fought the dog. Let's go back there. Let's try and explore a little bit more just to see. Maybe we can find a sh 
shortcut. Wait. This isn't it. Why did I rest? Why did I rest? Am I ever going to get that through my head? Was it the debate par parlor? That's where I am. But shouldn't there be another side of grace? Was there not a side of grace with the watch? Yes, there was. Is it church? It's not the church of the cuckoo. Nope. Okay. So... Then where is it? There's the staircase. It should be the schoolhouse classroom. I'm confused. I am very confused. Well, here's what we're going to do. We're just going to run. We're just going to run. And I'm going to have to get the name of that from <laughs> from when I get to the State of Grace. Very, very perplexed, though. I find it to be perplexing. I do want to try and loot that treasure from Renala's boss arena. You can probably get it, you know, once you've killed her, but... So what is this place called? This is the debate part? Really? It is. Interesting. Okay. I mean, it makes sense, I guess, when you really stop and think about it, but just wasn't expecting it. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I don't need to go up that way. Because I kind of know what's that way, but let's go up here. Kill you. Oh, nice. I was hoping that wouldn't kill you, but let's go jump off onto the rooftops. Let's see what there is to find. Yeah? Is that a dung beetle? It is, right? It's not, it's just a crystal crab. Stop it. Do you drop anything? Carolus Glintstone Crown. Increases intelligence to the detriment of stamina. It's only three intelligence. The Corollus Conspectus is the oldest of the Academy's lineages of study begat by the sorcerer Azor. Hey, excuse me. I was trying to read. Rude. Really? Blue. Hey, remember the time that you uh, never know what you actually have equipped? That might actually prove to be detrimental. And I did actually want to read that. Anyway. Begat by the sorcerer Azur, or Azure, as scholars who follow in his footsteps pursue the mysteries of comets. Oh, so I could have just run back here. Alright, that was not worth it. Let's go back. But do I want to get that one item? Let's do it. Let's just get the item. Let's just... Wait, what's back there? Alright, let's grab the item. Not worth it. What's back here? Nothing. Okay. Run away, run away, run away. Whirly gig of doom. You uh, live to see another... You're going to live to see a lot of days when it comes to me. I have almost no interest in fighting you. I say almost. No, no. There is none. There's no measurable interest. Don't fall down. Hello. Oh, you're just a puppet. Take that, thank you much. Now, archers. Full health, yeah? Thank you. Okay, before we go up the ladder, quick look around. So, not that far around. I think I just caught a little glimpse of a shiny though I did I did indeed although I was gonna say what's hiding behind these barrels oh 
Oh, look at... I know where that is. That's the, uh... Right by the Watchdog Arena. Yeah, Renala, I just gotta figure that fight out. Obviously, I've only been in the, uh... In the presence of her second phase once. But it just seems like you've really, really got to move. Okay, check the corners. I don't want to be snuck up on. Yep. Glad I didn't advance too quickly. Hey. Okay. I mean, that works. <laughs> Are you going to follow me? I imagine you can, being a winged creature and all. In fact, you know, let's kind of ignore you. What in the flip-flopping is that? Oh, you've got a different head on you. But you died. Crystal darts. Oh, heavens. Okay. works for me. Thank you much. And let's go this way. No rhyme or reason. Meteor bolts. Fine, fine, fine. No ladder, right? Nope. Just want me to continue on the rooftops, it seems. Okay, was there a ladder? There was not, right? Or a door. Nope. Alright. Let's keep going then. I don't know where I want to be heading. Curious about that glow I just saw. Cannot make that jump, that's for sure. What weird looking <laughs> long neck statues. Do I want to try and kill that one with. Oh, I do have my bow. Where's my bow? No, I don't. It just looks like a bow. <laughs> Nope, stop moving. Oh, you can almost get me, but not quite. All right. Nothing directly underneath. Let's just rush. Easy enough. Okay, really, really, I mean, my runes are absolutely nothing. I just really want to find a place to rest. Where am I supposed to go from here? I drop down this side too. I can. There's an item. Looks like a good item. Which also may be protected and the ladder going down at the end of it all. Okay. Hey, remember the time I got a golden seed and I didn't use it? I do. Imbued sword key. Oh, please tell me that's like an unlimited use. That would be cool. Unless it's just a different type of lock. Unseals Sending Gate, but then disappears. Breaks the seal on the imp statues guarding the Sending Gates enshrined in each belfry, but remains embedded in the statue after use, meaning it can only be used once. Think well before using one. Oh, don't do that. Don't tell me that. You know I'm going to screw that up. Oh, look, there's the wheel. Hey, 
Hey, level three smithing stone times two, great. All right, I guess we're going down that big ladder. We gotta find a place to rest because it is time to wrap up, but I don't, wait. Uh, I do see another crystal crab, which might mean more armor. Beautiful. That was awesome. Really glad I uh, pulled that one off. Looked all kinds of fancy. Alright, I see that item. It's taunting me, but it also... Yep. Okay, I figured. I figured. Nope. No, 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 no. You gotta move. Oh, bow? Really? Okay. Oh, I can go inside. Hey, I can go inside. I think the other one just left. Probably out of embarrassment after watching me play Magic Reese. Okay. I still, I want to go check out that crab. Oh, holy cow. Where am I supposed to go here? I mean, the answer is apparently literally anywhere. Let's deal with you. Oh, blue. Oh, blue. Just try that again. Yeah, just wait for that combo. You can, you can tank it. Get a little bit of health back. I mean, it seems like going in that way is a way to get a drop. Where's that crystal crab? Down here, right? Let's let's do the scaffolding. Come on. Well, rude. Oh. No, nope. blue, blue. Ah, just thrust. All right, there we go. And what do we get this time? Twin Sage Glintstone Crown. Okay, so that's another greatly, greatly increased. So that's actually plus five to intelligence to the detriment of HP and stamina. Okay, that brings me down to 544. And 86 stamina. Hmm. How heavy is it? Eh, too heavy. At least for now. Yeah, we're still kind of looking for a site of grace to rest at, by the way. Have not seen one in quite a while, and I know we're going way over time. I mean, you saw me, right? Oh, but you're just one of these. Okay. I know it's terrible. someone else? No? Kind of sounded like there. Oh, there is. No, 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 no. Uh-oh. There we go. All right. Ah. Ah. Starting to sweat it. <laughs> Starting to sweat. Oh, really? Okay, just let him hit me with a book. Which has shockingly high guard break. <laughs> That's a lot of stamina from a book. Shattering crystal. I like the sound of that. I like the sound of that a lot. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Ah, go back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Have I been in there before? I think I have. Can't use my... Oh! Oh! 
that works. Get those iframes going. I mean, gen the general Grievous is hilarious. That's perfect because I'm going to top off my health. We might just have to wrap up without finding a new... Wait. Wait, 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 wait. That's another... That's another carry knight, isn't it? Is he looking at me? Not named. I don't think that means much. Oh. Okay. Uh, can I have it, please? You've got some uh, health on you. There it is. You had some health on you. I'm going to take that health. Oh, you dropped something. What are you going to drop? Please tell me it's that crossbow. Perfumer's bolt. Right. Azure's glintstone staff. Okay, we're going to look at this and then we are going to wrap up here. What do I need? 36 intelligence. Oh, I wish you could see what the scaling would be like if you did meet the requirement. Because it's only 60 and obviously that's wrong. Staff of the primeval glintstone sorcerer Azure. Only those who have glimpsed what lies beyond the wisdom of stone may wield it. Reduces casting time of all sorceries, but consumes additional FP. Reduces casting time is pretty cool. Not to mention, it looks pretty cool. Um, well, we're going to have to uh, figure out where to go next um, in the next episode, because I am at a loss. We need to find a place to rest, and it's just, uh, it just doesn't seem to be happening. Although, apparently, that is the Church of the Cuckoo, so we're actually really close to that. How have we not found another Site of Grace? I mean, just look at Stormvale. Look at Stormvale. I mean, it's just everywhere. Anyway, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching. Hope you're still enjoying. And I will see you next time.